Well, it looks like the UAP Select Committee isn't going to happen, according to Anna Polina Luna, uh, Representative Anna Polina Luna. And there's a lot more UFO news to go over, so let's talk about it. Get in here. This is Jack with Cosmic Road. I talk about UFOs and the paranormal. Please hit like, please subscribe, share on social media, and let me know what you think in the comments below. That's right, Ross Coulthard is tweeting or retweeting this tweet from Anna Polina Luna. Just got word that we will not be getting the UAP Select Committee. However, we will be getting another hearing. Okay, I like it. Timber Chet is working on dates. Also, we are still working on a skiff for Grush. So I have to wonder if uh, not getting the select committee is fallout from the Mexican hearing or not. I, you know, that's just speculation. But if that were the case, then why would they be getting more hearings? So it's extremely uh, encouraging that Anna Polina Luna is saying we are going to get more UFO hearings. Is this going to be more information from David Grush? Are they going to allow him to reveal things that he couldn't share before? Um, or are they going to get more of the other whistleblowers that were corroborating his story or even people that he interviewed who were directly involved in these programs? I am very excited about this. More hearings, more visibility, and, and a chance to you know, get the taste out of our mouths after the NASA hearing and the Mexican hearing. But I would really have liked to have gotten that select committee. Speaking of David Grush, Bill Nelson, a director of NASA, was asked about David Grush. And uh, let's listen to his response. Thank you. My name is Jacob Jensen. I work for a Danish newspaper called Berlinski. Um, my question is for Mr. Uh, Nelson. Um, you said at the beginning of the meeting that, um, that NASA will be transparent. Well, a month and a half ago, Mr. David Grush said under oath in Congress that the U.S. government is in possession of UAPs and extraterrestrial life. Um, how can you be sure at NASA that other parts of uh, the U.S. government is being transparent? I don't speak for other parts of the government, but I can tell you NASA, which I speak for, is open and transparent with our data. Do you believe what Mr. David Gross said, or is he lying? Uh, you would want me to give a personal opinion? Yes, please. Uh, of what he said. Uh, uh, what he said, if I recall having seen this uh, on the nightly news, was that he had a friend that uh, knew where a warehouse was that had uh, an UFO locked up in a warehouse. He also said he had another friend that uh, said that he had parts of an alien. Whatever he said, where's the evidence? Is he also, my yeah, response. Excuse me. He also said that he did interview over 40 employees at the Pentagon. A uh, long time ago, there was a TV show, uh, Jack Friday, and he used to say, just the facts, just the facts. Show me the evidence. Thank you, sir. Okay, there you go. The very insightful response from Bill Nelson. Show me the facts. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, the Inspector General of the Pentagon has the classified information and he is only allowing David Grush to say certain things, but the Inspector General could choose to release uh, as much of that information as, as he could. Uh, and he could release it all. He could redact some of the, the, some of the things that he has to redact, but uh, he could uh, spill the beans uh, today if he wanted to. He doesn't want to. Why doesn't he want to? We don't know who is going to testify at uh, the hearings, uh, the future hearings in the uh, presumably the Senate. Uh, are they going to be those 40 employees that David Grush uh, interviewed? I, I, I certainly hope so. Uh, just to uh, wipe that smug look off Bill Nelson's face. But seriously, I mean, can he get more disingenuous than that? saying, oh, well, I only know what I saw on the nightly news. Really, Bill Nelson? Really? David Grush just has a friend that has a UFO in a warehouse. Maybe another friend that's got some alien parts. Meh, show me the facts. The facts are that Bill Nelson is a shill for the control group. Meanwhile, Ryan Graves is, is not feeling good about the Mexican hearing. He says, per, her, per his tweet, 
After the U.S. Congressional UFO hearing, I accepted an invitation to testify before the Mexican Congress, hoping to keep up the momentum of government interest in pilot experiences with UAP. Unfortunately, yesterday's demonstration was a huge step backwards for this issue. My testimony centered on sharing my experience in the UAP reports I hear from commercial and military air crew through ASA's witness program. I will continue to raise awareness of UAP as an urgent matter of aerospace safety, national security, and science, but I am deeply disappointed by this unsubstantiated stunt. Now, I, I feel so bad for Ryan, you know, putting his name out there and his reputation out there and having it, uh, you know, potentially tarnished by the Mexican hearing. Now, you know, for the record, I don't think we have a final determination on those bodies. I, I, I think the debunking is pretty strong with this one. I really do. Uh, but I, I would like to hear a response from the scientists and doctors that actually studied these things for, I guess, years. And uh, they spent a lot of money studying this stuff and they put their reputations on the line doing it. So I would like to hear a response from those guys and any other scientists uh, that want to get involved in this uh, before I make like, you know, in my, mentally a final determination on those alien bodies revealed by Jaime Masson and uh, in the Mexican hearing. But I do think the, the debunking is pretty strong with this one. And, and I, I feel for Ryan Graves putting himself out there like that. But James Fox is trying to get answers. Uh, watch him try to get some answers out of Chuck Schumer. Le Leader Schumer, Leader Schumer, I worked with Senator Harry Reid. I'm wondering if there's anything that you're doing to verify the, cl the, the claims of David Grush, sir? Okay, <laughs> Chuck Schumer was very responsive. Speaking of James Fox, check this out. There's an individual that is on the verge of, of going public, and I thought that your audience might like to um, hear from this. Okay, here we go. Hello, James. This is a first-hand intel guy, witness. Hello, James. It's been a while since we collaborated, collaborated on a public statement. As you know, I'm working to get private industry and Congress to collaborate on the UAP materials and biologics. Yes, both are part of the legacy program. I know we had a few oddball comments from folks who haven't been in the program, but as someone with first-hand knowledge and knowing other first-hand experiencers, we have been asked to formalize our testimony through the same ICIG, it's Intelligence Community Inspector General process that David Grush went through. Unlike David, I personally have not experienced any attacks from the government, nor DOD. My reason for coming forward is purely to provide factual information concerning the people, locations, private laboratories, and research facilities that exist around the world in an effort to help the investigative process. It's always my hope that the DOD, Pentagon, and the Legacy Program people are allowed to get out from under the heavy-handed weaponization of the exotic technologies they have. I believe there is a solid path for everyone to come forward without reprisal and to help mankind by making the non-classified aspects more transparent and available for the sectors of our societies that involve medicine, energy production, and the enlightenment of our collective mindset as human beings. Love it. I'm encouraged by all the hard work that many unsung heroes are doing behind the scenes, and I can tell you there's a lot, um, as well as in the public domain. I will be coming forward when the time is right. I wish you and everyone you read this letter to all the blessings and goodwill they deserve. The truth is now being revealed, and I promise to continue doing my part. Anyway, that's someone who's not in a position to go public just yet, but is going through the process. Uh, there's, a, there's a particular process that they have to go through before they can become, I guess, whistleblower, right? So that is huge. David Grush said that he was trying to get people that he knew that he had interviewed uh, in through the same process that he did. So I'm uh, thinking this is probably one of those people. 
Uh, but of course, we don't have any firm information on, on this individual yet. But uh, James Fox is on it. And I love it. This is amazing. Uh, this gentleman is motivated by a desire to share this um, uh, what what can be shared as far as energy goes, which is really intriguing because energy, I would think that would be like the most classified part of it. So I'm really intrigued by what that means, but also medicine. Well, wow, I, I can't even imagine what sorts of medicines could be available with this, this sort of technology, as well as expanding our consciousness as a race. That is huge. That is huge. I mean, potentially that's the most important thing. That's uh, potentially what could allow us to have full contact um, and, you know, raise our vibrations and usher in the age of Aquarius or our ascension to the fifth dimension, uh, you know, all that kind of good stuff. If, if indeed uh, that is the way of things. I don't know if it is or not. I kind of hope it is. It seems to be one of his motivations, but either way, this is really, really exciting. We have more whistleblowers coming out, guys. This is huge. Don't get discouraged by the Mexican hearing or the NASA hearing or any of that stuff. More stuff is coming out. They can't put the toothpaste back in the bottle. They can try, but there is a UFO zeitgeist going on, guys. Don't get discouraged. This stuff is coming out. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about all this. I'm very encouraged. I'm optimistic. But if you've enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up. I sure would appreciate it. Smash the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of future videos. You don't want to miss a thing. Join me on social media. There's Facebook and Twitter links below. I would love to see you guys there. If you wanted to share this video on social media, that would be super groovy. I would love it. Thank you so much. Uh, if you wanted to support Cosmic Road in a bigger way, please consider becoming a channel member. See the first link in the description below. Channel members are rock stars, and I really appreciate you guys' support. Thank you so much. Uh, meanwhile, there's plenty of other videos to check out on the channel, and I'll see you next time. This is Jack with Cosmic Road, signing out.